Hi, AutoShift Planner is a completely free, open source and user-friendly application that can design and automatically generate highly detailed employee shift schedules based on the rules and preferences. It can design and automatically make a shift, fine-tuned with half-hour time units, instead of just morning shifts or night shifts. This feature allows the application to manage situations where traditional planners fail because it's just impossible to define exactly the desired scenario. The application is not yet another general-purpose planner. It is a detailed, rule-based shadow generator. This may or may not be useful to you. But if it is, then you don't have a lot of other software tools available to suit your case. In editor mode, you can see the table that is composed of squares that represent units of time lasting half an hour on a given day and at a certain time. Each square belongs to a single employee. A unit of time, the square, can be marked as attributed, forbidden or mandatory. To every employee is assigned a unique color. When for a time unit, square, the presence of the employee is required, the square changes color, depending on the employee in charge. A prohibited time unit, or square, is black. A mandatory time unit contains a white ellipse, or a dot. You can mark the time units, which means the squares, by clicking with the mouse, clicking and dragging while keeping the mouse button pressed, or positioning the pointer and then using the mouse wheel. You only need to define the desired units of time, squares, as forbidden or mandatory, although it is possible to manually assign the time units as a working time to individual employees, this is not necessary, as the application does the attribution automatically. Let's see how we can make use of AutoShift Planner in the following example. As a manager of a retail shop, we have to organize shifts for the next week as follows. First, we add or remove employees and input their weekly hours to perform. Each employee is characterized by a name and the amount of weekly hours he or she has to work. Next, we define the opening and closing time. Since we have a supply truck arriving earlier, on some specific days, we can reset the opening time value accordingly, and then mark the unit of time, squares, which are not required, as forbidden. In general, to start the work activity later, on a particular day, we can mark the entire period as forbidden. To assign a free day for a particular employee, just mark all units of time, squares, of that day for that particular employee as forbidden.
the same way, to assign a free afternoon, we again mark all units of time, squares, as forbidden. To request the presence of a specific employee at a certain time, simply mark the corresponding unit of time, square, as mandatory. Now we just need to set all the remaining constraints. Press the soft button. Normally, the hard score value should be zero. The soft score value must be as low as possible, even if the minimum value depends on the individual cases and can never reach zero. Within minutes, a satisfactory solution should be achieved. Thanks for watching and have a good day.